Everyone, Jay's here again back with a video tutorial. In this video tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you a part two that I had started, um, that I uploaded on the previous video, showing you how to convert your mini DV tapes to a digital format using a capture card and a, uh, a video camera, mini, mini v, um, DV video camera. So, if you have not seen that video, check out the first portion where I show you my setup and show you how everything connects. This is part two, and this is how to capture um, your mini DVD tapes or any really video tapes you have um, using the Dazzle Pinnacle Studio software. Now, I may have already shown this. Um, I'm not sure completely, so I apologize if this is kind of a rerun, but I figured I'd show people just in case. All right, uh, so. The Pinnacle software comes with the Dazzle, um, the D Dazzle DVC 100, as you see right here, is connected. Actually, um, you can get the Dazzle online. Um, I I don't I don't think this DVC 100 model is still available. I think it's another model, but uh, either way, you should be able to get the Dazzle, and it, you can still download the Pinnacle software for anything you may want. Uh, I believe so. Uh, it's just a great piece of software to have to capture movies and whatnot for whatever whatever you want to do. It kind of reminds me of a movie maker and as such, and I know this import studio or studio import is blocking, but it does look like it. There's a timeline and there's a preview screen. You can play, you can edit. Um, so let's jump right in. And like I said, I have this studio import open to save some time. So f when you when you either download or get or whatever you whatever software you're gonna use, if you're gonna use the Pinnacle Pinnacle Studio software, open it up. You're gonna go to right here. It says import. Um, it's actually when you open it up, it's the default's gonna be on edit mode. You want to hit, hit the number one here, hit import. When you hit import, it'll open up this screen right here, the studio import section. This is where you're gonna actually capture your movie. Um, and I'm gonna give you a quick tour real quick. Here's your import from section. Of course, if you have a Dazzle connected, a capture device connected in general, it should come up here. Um, you get, you have your um, webcam. If you have a webcam on your computer, your DVD, um, Blu-ray options, your other device options, stop motion, which is very cool, and you can also snapshot. Um, you know, I've, this is an old video type of wedding tape. You can snapshot that exact moment, so it's very cool. You have your import import two section. Um, which is your location? So mine is in my videos. Um, I would recommend keeping it there or putting it in a file on your desktop. You also have a, a video space counter. Mine is mine is halfway. Um, it's like 165 gigabytes right now at the moment. It's about 63 hours according to this. Um, you can gain video space by deleting stuff off your computer, um, but by going into your um, your disk manager and whatnot and just Deleting, wiping your junk files, and I'll do that. I'll do a video tutorial on that in the future as well. Um, here's your mode. Um, I like to keep it as MPEG. That's that's the that's the way I like to capture my video. You can change it if you wish. You have your scene detection. You can change your file name as well. Just type in there and hit enter. Okay. Uh, here's your preview screen. Of course, you'd be recorded when you hit the start capture. Your your time will end up here. And uh, so let's get into the bones of this, the real bones of how to do this. I've kind of already eaten up my allotted time. Um, in order to capture, you of course are going to hit your start capture once you have everything connected. Um, but you have other, other settings here you can customize your, the way you want to do. And when I click this, you can see um, I have my Dazzle, like I said, connected via the AV cables. If you have the S video, you can also select there. You can you can change these options if you want. I would just keep them as is. Uh, here's your your format. If you're in Europe, it's PAL. If you are in North America, um, it is NTSC. And I believe this is a mixture of the two. I'm not exactly sure. Um, here's the but here's the real big thing. Um, though is the aspect ratio. This is 4:3 aspect ratio, which is kind of the older format. Um, and this is the 16 by 9 format, which is the widescreen stuff you're going to see nowadays, kind of HD format. Now here's the problem: is these tapes that I'm converting, these uh, mini DV tapes, are 4:3, the old the old format. And you're going to see that once I uh, once I start the video in a second, but you do not want to you do not want to go away from that. So if, if I were to go hit 16 by 9 right now, it shrinks my screen. So if I were to play my tape, 
um, it's going to cut the bottom half off. So I just want to keep it the same way it is. So that's that's basically what you want to do. If you have, a, let's say, a wedding tape, and it's from the 90s, um, you know, if, if it's on a VHS, you want to keep it as aspect ratio 4.3, and, you know, whatever. I mean, there, there's going to be there's going to be black bars on the side, but, uh, you know, you just want to make sure you get the, all the footage. Unless, unless you can figure out a way to... Um, fix up the aspect ratio, but I recommend keeping it the same way as you, um, as the video was captured in. Alright, so let's get right to work here. We're going to close the settings out in my long-winded speech here. Um, now, we're ready to capture. So what you want to do first, I like to actually hit the start capture before I actually start the tape, just so I don't miss anything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. May take a minute to uh, start the capture. May delay, so I apologize for this in advance. I'm gonna hit start capture. Le le put, move my mouse away. And let's see. It said it started. It's like I'm saying, there may be a delay. Sometimes it's just a little iffy, so you may have to play around with it. Give me a moment. Come on. Alright, so there we go. You're going to see the time is being recorded, and there you have your audio. Of course, there's no audio being played right now. And you, you have your dropped frames. This piece of software is good for not dropping frames, a lot of frames at least. So go ahead, and once you have your, um, your, your video running, go ahead and play your tape. As it may um, take a moment to play. And depending on the tape, sometimes you may have to go into the settings and um, fix the audio if there is a problem. As you can see, um, this video, there, there, is, there is an audio problem, first of all, so I would have to fix this. And then, um, and then there is a lag, there's a delay, there's it is dropping frames for whatever reason. So what I'm going to do, uh, this is basically how you um, how you capture though. Basically, these problems stem from um, the uh, they stem from the video camera. So what I'm going to do here is this is basically how you capture. Um, how you capture your, your video. That's basically how you do it. Um, so if you have any problems like this, like I'm having at the moment, you will want to um, go into your camera and fix up your settings from there. But that's how you capture your video um, onto in, as a digital format, any, any, any video, any videotape, um, using um, the Pinnacle Studio 14 software. Thank you guys for watching this video tutorial. I hope I could help you out a little bit. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.